Welcome to Pro Kitchen Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to set the global specifications on your design. Now I've got a design open here, and if you've gotten to this point of your design and you haven't set your global specifications yet, you've gone a little too far. This is actually one of the very first things you should do after building your walls, before you start placing your cabinets, is to set your global specifications. And the reason I say that is on some catalogs where they have multiple lines inside of the catalog, all of those lines are available until you set your global specifications. So when you're down here placing cabinets, you can easily place cabinets that are not available in the line that you ultimately want to choose. So set your global specifications first and everything will work out for you. Now you've seen that I've set my global specifications already. We're going to go ahead and click Clear All and we're going to set these again. And so we start out here in the Show Place catalog with Door Style. Now if you're in a catalog that has more than one line in it, you may not have Door Style as your first option. It may be Construction or it may be Line as your first option. So that would allow you to come through and make that choice. So door style, we're just going to go through here and we're going to pick a door style. You'll notice that when I click on a door style here, I get a nice little image of it over here. So this makes it pretty easy. You know, I mean, Showplace, they've got a lot of door styles. And it's kind of hard to remember what each and every one is. So being able to go through here and have it highlighted so you can see which door it is, makes it really, really easy. So we'll pick Pendleton for this. You'll also notice over here that there's a little red Adobe button, PDF button. So if we click on that button, so it pops open our spec book here, and you'll notice it opened right to the Pendleton SP275 that I chose for our layout. So this makes it easy if you need to refer back to your spec book while you're making your selection. So we've chosen our Pendleton 275, now our door overlay is our next option. So we can do traditional or international plus. And then our drawer header selection and our wood selection. Our finish color. And you'll notice as I check on these, they pop up over here. You'll notice we also have the PDF here that's going to open our spec book and help us make that selection. And we're just going to grab hazelnut and then we can put a glaze on or not. Same thing with distressing, finger outs, edge pulls. We'll go ahead and do a satin sheen on it. Our one inch reveals, these are factory selected for us for this particular door. Some doors there, that option's available for. This door it is not, so they come up as no. Touch up kit, of course. Natural wood interior, sure, why not? So now we've set our global specifications. Let's come up here and pop a 3D and see what it looks like. And here's our 3D and we can rotate that around. I've got a saved view of it that pops it in here in a nice view for us to see exactly what we have. So here's our door style that we chose from our global specifications. Now if we get over here and don't like it, we can come up here to door style and click on that button. And here's our global specifications again, so we can come in here and make any changes that we need, and we can make those changes in real time. Say we decide the hazelnut isn't the color we want, we can try cognac, we can try natural. Just be wary that any changes that we make here, so we've got rustic hickory natural, we'll click OK on that, we've got rustic hickory natural still showing here, but if I close my 3D, I still have hazelnut showing over here. So if you make changes in 3D, be sure to come over here and make the changes if you want to keep those. And of course, if you need to start over, you can click Clear All and start over from scratch in your global specifications. But again, this is the first thing you want to do before you start building your kitchen, just to be sure that the cabinets that you have placed are actually available for the line and door style that you've chosen. So this has been Pro Kitchen Video Tutorials, working in global specifications. Thank you for watching.